those that have already helped out with our foster tree. If you haven't had a chance yet, there's still time to sign up. Grab an ornament off the tree and register for a child and bring back a wrapped gift of $20 on Sunday, December 1st. There will be no Wednesday night service this week. We hope you enjoy time with your friends and family in celebration of Thanksgiving. Jesus, still and lifeless, he lay upon his bed. He had not moved since he was just a baby. Still he longed to become a normal man. Now we don't know much about the men that carry the borders of this that day. But if we may create an illustration, we'll see what these men might have had to say. Said I hate it. For Jesus touched my eyes when I was blind. He made me see, and there's no doubt about it. But this man's needs are more serious than mine. Suppose that second man said, No need to bother. This man's condition will remain the same. Though Jesus touched my hand when it was withered, I don't believe he can heal a man so lame. Suppose that third man said I hate questions, but no one here is more skeptical than me. No Jesus cleansed me when I was a leper. This helpless man will never walk, you see. Then every eye was turned to the fourth man to see how he might criticize and doubt. But all three men were startled with amazement. But that fourth man stopped and he said his name out loud. He said, my name is Lazarus, so could I testify? My name is Lazarus, feels good to be alive. When I in chains of death was bound, this man named Jesus called me out. Your little problem is too big for him to solve. Take it from the one who's heard the mighty voice of God. A living testimony of his death defying God. My name is Lazarus. My name is Lazarus. Could I testify? My name is Lazarus. Feels good to be alive. When I in chains of death was bound, this man.
wanting you to support them here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I mean, just you think about life and the, the different ways it takes you. I mean, who would have ever thought when we were growing up, Don, is just, uh, we were just a mess as two brothers. I mean, who ever thought that God would favor us and, and grace and calls in the ministry? Uh, just a blessing to be able to serve the Lord. And we just take that uh, just so uh, graciously. And God is so good at the church. He's just faithful and He's good. And uh, think about. Becky, we were in the youth department together back in the day and sang in choir together at uh, Jerome High School. Don was a little bit younger than we were, but uh, he married well. He did, he did good, so it's great. This wouldn't be possible apart from God's grace and apart from our mother. And so, Mama Bear, can you stand up for a moment? Mom, love you. Love you. I have the privilege of being my mother's pastor, and so all the things she did to me as a child, all the counseling I went through, all that stuff, I just get to do it every Sunday, it's kind of beat up on my mom a little bit, it's, uh, no I don't, but it's just great, it's really an honor to be my mom's pastor, so it's really great to have her at our church up there at Antioch up in, in North Kansas City. I want to also thank uh, Seminole, you as a church, uh, thanks for being faithful, thanks for staying in the game and being a part of this fellowship. Uh, it's just, it's not a one-man show, amen, we're all this thing together, I mean, that's the church, that's the beauty of the body of Christ, uh, I believe, it's just my uh, thought and takeaway, you've got a great and really a terrific ministry team here at Seminole, that they uh, work together, that they're gifted, you are blessed to have that kind of a team around you, and, and leadership as trustees and deacons, how many of the God is good, amen, God's good, isn't he? he's just good in the body of Christ, so it's just good. Has your life today been changed by the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ? The gospel, the death, and the burial and resurrection of Jesus. The word gospel has a secular origin. It comes from the Greek word euangelion. Euangelion was a word that meant the best news possible. It was a re word reserved for when the emperor of Rome would come into a community, they would say, here's the emperor, and they would uh, uh, give an ovation and honor him. That was the UN Gileon, the best news possible. The emperor is in our town or in our city. It may have been about the birth of someone who was well known, and we say the UN Gileon. I'm telling you, church, the gospel is the best news possible. God's enablement. Grace is a, is a great gift, amen? The grace of God. We sit here today because of the grace of God. It's powerful. The Bible speaks of Jesus in John chapter 1, verse 14. And how that he was became flesh and how he dwelt among us and we beheld his glory as the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Full of grace and truth. It's not so much a balance of grace and truth as it is a blend of grace and truth. When we step into someone's life, one foot grace and the next foot is truth. Amen? To be gracious. Every day you and I need daily grace. We, we never graduate from grace. Never graduate from grace. And the first thing that Barnabas saw was grace. Does your life exist? I live for you alone. Every breath that I take. Every moment I'm awake. Lord, have our ties and offerings, please. Yeah. <laughs> 